This is my iPhone 15 Pro in white titanium. Over the weeks, I've made a bunch of TikToks, Instagram reels, and YouTube shorts sharing my thoughts, concerns, and initial impressions. But today, I'm grouping everything together in one long form YouTube video with a real raw day in the life with the iPhone 15 Pro. To hopefully give you guys an accurate idea of what it might look like if you personally bought this phone. The main things that I'll be targeting in this video are the battery life, the camera, and the new features such as the action button as well as the design. I'll also be sharing my concerns throughout the video and giving you periodical updates about how the phone is performing. It is currently 8 o'clock. My battery health is at exactly 100%. I don't really check social media right when I wake up in the morning. I typically do my morning routine or get up and just go. I'm going to go downstairs and eat and then I'm going to a car show with my little brother that we go to every single month and I'm super excited because I think this will be a perfect opportunity to test out the log profile as well as the camera as well as taking pictures, videos, and everything like that. With that being said, I'm going to go wake up my little brother. iPhone 15 for you guys. Um, I FaceTimed a friend in the car and I, I had it plugged in because I was using Apple CarPlay. So it's still chilling at 100%. I did film, we saw a rainbow on the way, which was pretty cool. But I'm gonna be trying to film all the videos in log. So I'm gonna be mostly filming in that. I'll try to indicate in the video whether it's log or whether it's not. But we're gonna go check out some of the cars. It's some pretty cool footage. So I'll get with, back with you guys soon. camera Sorry. test remember Ooh. all this video footage i know that's really nice oh anyway all the front facing videos all the videos you're going to see in today's video will be shot in log pro res so it's definitely going to be like i'm trying to max out really push this thing to the limits just to see what it can do so i think it's pretty cool that you can actually shoot in log and both the back facing or the back camera and the front facing phone is sitting at around 88 percent uh, whenever you shoot in pro res and log format uh, it definitely sucks a lot of your battery. I FaceTimed a couple of friends. I was on Instagram for a little bit, but most of the time we were walking around looking at bikes, cars, and all that fun stuff. So I could easily see how it could drain the battery very, 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 very quickly. Um, but I'm pretty impressed. So I just got back from the car event and eating lunch and here are my overall thoughts and opinions on the camera and the video. So if you're standing far away, one of my favorite things is to zoom into 3x. You can actually get a really, really like kind of cinematic look whenever you take pictures. And so I, I did this with some of the cars that were at the event. I stood really far away, zoomed in really far and it kind of added like this kind of cool effect. From my personal experience, if there was something that I really needed to take a picture with quickly and I instantly pulled out my phone, opened up the camera app, snapped a photo regardless of the whether the lighting was good or whether I was holding my phone stable or whatever, you can't really go wrong. You're gonna get a good picture pretty much no matter what. Now obviously if I made sure the lighting was right and everything else was like properly like aligned up, I would have got a much better picture but for me personally, in my personal testing, you really can't take a bad picture with this phone. My favorite setting on the camera right now is the RAW Max. This just makes your pictures that much easier to edit. To simply put it, shooting in RAW on a camera like this, well, in this case on this, is a flat picture profile, very similar to Log. And what that means and allows you to do is have a lot more customization and freedom whenever you edit your photo. This year, Apple claimed that their stabilizers were two times better than the 14 Pros, which kind of blew my mind and I was a little bit curious to actually test. I can say even when my hands were shaking or I was trying to talk to other people and I was just kind of casually recording a video, the stabilization is impeccable. With shooting in ProRes, it's gonna be a bigger file size, it's gonna drain a lot more battery, and it's also gonna be a little bit more complicated. All in all, the camera on the 15 Pro is very, very good. And for both videos and photos, this will do the job perfectly well. Even if you're not a skilled photographer, simply pulling out your phone, taking a quick photo, you really can't get a bad picture. Moving on from the camera side of things, I'd like to talk about one of my favorite features that Apple introduced, and that is the action button. This replaced the silent mute switch button from the previous year's iPhones, and it can do so much more. Not only does it allow you to customize from the different default options that Apple gives you, but you can also set up shortcuts. I've seen people bind it to open and close their front door, open and close their trunks, and you can even set it to specifically go to a specific contact in iMessage, open apps, Basically, it's endless. You can Anything you think, you probably can do. Now, in my case, I've binded mine, I'm pretty basic, to just my flashlight, but I've found that I use my flashlight a lot, and just having it with a simple 
click of a button is super, super convenient. There's much little innovation that we see every year. I think this was a small, very subtle, nice change that Apple made with the new iPhone 15 Pro line. Next up on the list, there are a few things that I need to get done. I have a couple of packages that I need to open. After I get that done, I'm gonna quickly clean up my room, go to the gym, and then we have another event with my church tonight and a bunch of my friends that we have to leave around three o'clock. So I need to clean my room, open some packages, film a little bit, go to the gym, shower, and I'll be back. So it's pretty packed, but like always, I'm bringing you guys along the way. time to just be on my phone but I did check social media and catch up with TikTok, Instagram and all the other socials as well as emails, my business email and all that good stuff just to make sure everything was good and everything checked out fine. Now I'm going to go change, pick up my friend, go to the gym, come back, shower again and then we're going to go to an event. So I just got back from the gym, it is currently 247 and my battery health is at 77%. Keep in mind, I did charge it going towards the gym and then coming back. One of the things at the beginning of the video that I mentioned that I would target throughout this video are the concerns I had with this phone. And one of them was the overheating issue. You may have seen people complain about this with the iPhone 15 models, specifically the Pro models. And I've encountered this myself quite a few times. I was sitting waiting to go into class. I was just scrolling through Instagram and my phone just started burning up. And the other day at the gym, I put my phone in my backpack and obviously it's an enclosed area so I could see how it would have been hot, but it was like, abnormally. Now, Apple did release an update for this iOS 17.0.1, I'm pretty sure, is the update that basically patched that. And ever since I've updated to that, I haven't had any issues, so props to Apple. I think a lot of people thought this might be a hardware issue, but one of the concerns that I was literally thinking about prior to filming this video, it's nice to see that it got fixed, or at least we hope so. I've had no issues yet, but something could pop up. Now I'm going to go take a quick shower and eat. What the? No, you're not supposed to say that. You're supposed to say like and subscribe. Like and subscribe to my amazing, wonderful, amazing, beautiful boyfriend, Jaden Timothy Coyer. Why you gotta say the full <laughs> name? It's crazy. It is currently 6.01. We're at an event for my church. We're hanging with a bunch of my friends. We're just walking around. The phone has performed amazingly. I haven't really been on social media a lot today. So I haven't really drained my battery from that perspective. Now I did notice, as I previously mentioned with the heat concerns, I did notice that it started to heat up a little bit the more I shot anything above like five to 10 minutes in ProRes, which I kind of expected. It wasn't crazy like the previous overheating, but it definitely will get hot. I haven't really talked much about this, but I thought I'd like to mention the actual design aspect of the iPhone 15 Pro. If you haven't already you might have seen the viral video of Jerry Rig everything bending the iPhone 15 Pro Max in its snap. But that was previously proven wrong as a lot of people did it and realized that, hey, that man is just built differently. So I wouldn't be too worried about it. So when it comes to a design perspective, of the iPhone 15 Pro, I wouldn't really worry about that. But I don't really think you'll have an issue from I would say durability side of things when it comes to this phone. So I would not Other worry. than that, I'm gonna keep getting back to taking more videos and pictures and just kind of experimenting with everything. Not really on social media, just primarily testing out the camera.
all in all i think this year's iphone 15 lineup is very very solid but it really all comes down to whether you actually need to upgrade i think for the average person the iphone 15 base model will do the job perfectly fine. and unless you can actually justify why spending the extra couple hundred dollars on the pro or pro max is actually worth it i really don't think you actually need it if you guys did go into enjoy this video feel free to drop a like on the video subscribe with those post notifications so you never miss a future upload comment down below if you have any questions feedback anything like that i try to respond to all comments as best as possible thank you again for watching this video and i will catch you guys in the next one